Johnny Condon joins us live from NOLA. And Johnny, you got your first look at the tie practicing this week. Yeah, good evening, Jeff. Uh, welcome into New Orleans. Day number two here in the Big Easy, and that meant workout number two here in the Big Easy. And practice this morning was held inside the Caesar Superdome. And the two numbers we were looking for, 9 and 31. 9, of course, being quarterback Bryce Young. And 31, maybe the most imposing figure on the field, edge rusher Will Anderson Jr., who this season brought home a wheelbarrow load worth of awards back to Tuscaloosa. Nagurski, Betnarik, Lombardi, a lot of impact. Hey, if there was a trophy for being a good defensive football player, there's a great chance that Will Anderson Jr. won it. Of course, on top of all the hardware, there's a good chance that he's selected as the first overall pick in the upcoming NFL draft. If not first, you can almost certainly pencil him in in the top five. So with no playoff game in store, it may surprise you that he's playing in this game, risking his health and his draft status in the process. But his teammates know, well, he makes a massive difference when it comes to morale and the psyche of this football team. You know, who has a big heart, you know, that's one of our main leaders on the team, and I, I kind of expect him to come back, you know, lead us, lead us throughout the whole season for every game. Uh, it's not a surprise to any of us because we know how Will is. You know, you know Will, he's going to come in every day uh, with a matching attitude. And uh, he, he's always going to go out and give everything for the team. So that's what he, de he decided to do for us. And Jeff, when it comes to this type of draft prospect, someone that you can just pencil in top five, top three overall pick, if there's no national championship at stake, it's commonplace for guys like this to skip the game and just prepare for the draft but not Will Anderson Jr. As Nick Saban alluded to earlier this week, guys like him, guys like Bryce Young, it's just not in their DNA to not compete. They've been with this team all year long. They will honor their commitment, and they will try to play their best football game to help lead the Tide to a victory in the All-State Sugar Bowl against Kansas State. That game, of course, on Saturday, New Year's Eve day. But for now, Jeff, live from New Orleans, I'm Johnny Kahn at ABC 3340 Sports.